In this video, I'll be talking about how to automatically cor color correct your video clips in the HitFilm 4 Express Video Editor. Use something called the Auto Color Effect right over here. It's under the Color Correction folder. And like Auto Contrast, this analyzes the luminescence of the image and finds the darkest and brightest colors used and stretches the color spectrum so that they become true black and white colors. It then shifts the colors so that the average color is gray based upon the gray world assumption. And so gray world normalization can be used to create color consistency between multiple sources. So all right, if you go ahead and uh, apply the color correction um, effect onto your video clip, you'll notice in this particular uh, video that it became a nice brighter color. And so basically what this does, as I've uh, mentioned before, is that it uh, makes something that's really black, blacker until it's like total, um, totally black, and something that's near the white color spectrum, uh, absolutely white. And then it make, um, you know, corrects the color like that. So that's how you automatically color correct your video clips. So there's some other options you can um, tweak from the auto color um, effect. If you left click the toggle button, you get threshold, blend with original, and select frame. If I open up the website, they tell me that threshold determines the percentage of pixels, which will become true black or white, and it uh, increases the contrast basically. Blend with original mixes the original source with the graded result, so it kind of blends the original and the uh, the auto color effect it kind of blends it up and um, select frame by default the effect applies to the current uh, to the currently displayed frame and so this is by default if the shot is changed drastically this causes unwanted shifts in the grade so activating this enables a specific sample frame to be chosen which will be used for the duration of the layer and so if you have like a really long movie clip with uh, different changing scenes you may want to stick with one uh, specific color correction so that's what it's referring to so all right for threshold this um, changes the contrast as you can see mm -hmm. so if you want it contrasting more you can tweak that and then a blend with original so before the auto color effect was applied it's gonna um, is applying is blending zero of it right now but if I want to apply the auto color effect version and the original version you can just tweak this. It's very, uh, like, the change is very unnoticeable, but if I uh, swing this back and forth, you can see that there is a change. It's just like if you want it less, um, less noticeable, more uh, like a mild version of the auto color effect. And finally, select frame. I do believe if you uh, move the scrubber and then you enable this, it would automatically uh, select the frame. Although right now it's saying frame number zero. Otherwise, I'm not sure how this effect works. If you know exactly how this, um, how to make this work, uh, leave, uh, leave your answer in the comments below. And that's it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.